yes, yes, understand <laughs> now. Because in the I didn't I learned all the verbs. I'm not sure when to use what um, the um verb, the mag verb, the in verb. But I don't know when to use it. Now I yeah, get it. I know. Before we start to our lesson, I would like you, of course, to practice how you introduce yourself in Tagalog, okay? Just ha how simple you can do it, okay? Mm -hmm. No pressure. Okay. So, um, maganda umaga. Um, ako si Monica. Um, is it uh, Bahay? Uh, I USA, sa USA, taga, you say taga, taga, um, sa USA, ako, 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 mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure what else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, this is what you're going to do, okay? Um, every time we are having our lesson, you need to practice saying those things because it's very important in every uh, time you meet someone it is important to say your name first of course and you say where you're from and mm -hmm. if you don't mind telling uh, everyone your, your age so you can tell everybody your age but if it's not okay with you then let us not talk about it but it's important you say your name of course and mm -hmm. where you live okay and and if it's okay you say your age okay so you say like uh, you start from uh, Magandang Umaga, of course. Uh, and then, Ako si, that was right. What you did was right. Um, ako si Monica. Taga, before saying the place, you say, Taga, USA, Ako, or United States of America, Ako. Taga, America, Ako, it's all right. At, um, like, when you say your age, you can just say, if you speak to someone who is Tagalog, it's all right to say 26, taong, uh, 26 years old ako, 26 mm -hmm. years old ako, or 36 years old ako, or whatever that is. So everybody can understand that because pe Filipino people count 1 to 100 in English, okay? But if you want to say that in Tagalog, like you wanted to sound, you know, re really impressive to people, <laughs> so we will... Uh, how old are you, if you don't mind? I will teach you how to say it in Tagalog. Uh, 45. 45. Okay, you say, um, apat na pot limang, apat, apat na pot, na pot, limang, lima, limang, 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 Mm -hmm. So that's just it. You say okay. apat na pot limang taong gulang. Okay? okay. So don't worry about the numbers. We'll be learning that soon. Okay. okay. So that's uh, just it for introducing yourself. Okay. So so I I, I require us <laughs> every time we start our lesson. I require us together to introduce yourself in Tagalog and so that you will memorize that every time you speak to. To start with, I would like to practice about, I know that you have learned verbs already, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so we will be learning actor and object focus verbs. Okay. Do you know those things? Have you learned I, those things? I, I'm not sure when to use what um, the um verb, the mag verb, the in verb, but I don't know when to use it actually confusing so we will uh, practice that today okay so um, you already know about um and mag verbs right and in verbs and whatever verbs there is okay so okay um and mag verbs are verbs that can be used when the focus okay, please write it down when the focus is the actor okay so don't worry, we will not be learning all of the verbs. We will just be learning 
three verbs, okay? So okay. it won't confuse you. <laughs> okay, so we will focus on mag and um verbs, which is actor focus verbs, okay? Uh -huh. Mag and um verbs are actor focus verbs, and in verbs, which is object focus verbs. In verbs, okay? Okay. Okay, so I will give you now four examples, okay, four verbs that are examples that can be used in mag and um verbs and in in verbs and why it is used in um verbs and how it is used in um mag and in verbs, okay? Okay, so let's start from the word. Please write this down. Kain. You know what kain means? Uh, to eat. Correct. Uh -huh. That is correct. Okay, now, when you say... Uh, Kain, and then the focus is the actor. Like, let's say, I ate. I ate. Okay? So, we will be using past tense. Okay? We will okay. be focusing on past tense. All of these past tense so that you won't be confused. Okay? So, I ate. So, the focus now is the actor. Right? Am I correct? Uh -huh. Because yes. I ate. Okay. Uh -huh. So, the focus is the actor. So, now you say, from the word kain, you use um verb. Okay. Okay. The word kain is under um verb. It cannot be used under mag. Okay. okay. It, it okay. will sound funny. It will sound funny if you say mag kain. Okay. So okay, it's, okay. Actually under, it's actually under um verb. Okay. So now, so past tense. If you say I ate. Okay. I ate. You will say kumain ako. Kumain ako. Okay? Okay? Okay, now, under in verb. Okay? This is still under, uh, this is still ka in verb. Okay? okay. This is still ka in. So, under in verb, you say uh, past tense. Okay? Past tense. You say kinain ko. Kinain in Ko. Yes, correct. So later okay. on, we will be learning why ako and ko is used. Okay? Okay. So okay. Don't worry. We will be learning that later on. <laughs> Just this 30 minutes. <laughs> okay. Okay? So, uh, the next word is, uh, do you already know how to construct the the verbs? Like, let's say, when it's in, in future, in present, and in past tense, do you already know how to? Under um, verb? Uh, I learned it, um, but I forgot. The mag, I do, but the um, I forgot. Okay, you forgot. Okay, so it's all right. Okay, let, let's say the next the next verb will be uh, luto. You know what luto is? Cook? To cook, correct. To cook, okay? So now I say, I, I cooked. I cooked, mm -hmm. okay? So as I have said, we will use uh, we will use past tense, past aspect, okay? So you will say, Nagluto ako. Nagluto ako. This is not under um verb. This is under mag verb, okay? So when you say the word luto, it cannot be used under um verb. Okay. It is under mag verb in actor focus because okay. as i have said mag and um is under actor focus right and in verb is under object focus okay mm -hmm. so in under in verb okay under in verb the word is still luto mm -hmm. okay past aspect you say ini luto e, e ni luto luto i n i luto correct uh, okay e ni luto and then followed by ko okay e, ni luto ko so and it's the same the but yeah. it's the same meaning i cooked no ah uh, okay no. <laughs> we will talk about that later on just just okay. seconds okay <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so, so did you see the difference there? When you yes. use the mag and um verbs, okay, 
Echo. You said, yes, you said the verb first, and then you said the pronoun, right? Mm -hmm. But the, pro yeah. the, the pronoun under um and mag verb, you said ako. Mm -hmm. Okay? So in an yeah. in verb, you said ko. Yes. Okay? So why? Why did we use this one? Okay, here's why. Okay? So when you use... I will skip because there's lots of things that I have written. <laughs> okay, so we used ako because if you, uh, oh no, I forgot to send you the pronouns, the list of pronouns earlier, but um, in, in, in the chart, I will send you, I will send you later, but in, di in, in direct pronoun, okay, uh, 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 first person singular, first person singular, please write this down. First person singular, you use ako. Okay? Okay. So this means, this means when the focus is the actor or the doer, you mm -hmm. use the direct form. Okay? You okay. use the direct form. So you use ako. Okay? I will be explaining this later. Don't worry. <laughs> so, and then, <laughs> And then in the, in, in the, what do you call this one? The indirect form, okay? Uh -huh. Indirect form. First person singular, still first person singular, but indirect, not direct form, okay? Indirect, uh -huh. you, you, you will use ko, okay? So ko. what are okay. these things? What are these things that are not direct, that are uh -huh. indirect form? These are the object focus verbs. Like pertaining to. Yes. Okay. These are yes. the object focus verbs. Like say, for example, this is why. Okay. Earlier you said, uh, I ate. And then, kumain ako. Right? And the other one is, kinain. Kina okay. This doesn't mean the same. The other one, the first one, I said, kumain ako. Okay. This means, I ate. Mm -hmm. Okay? And the other one, it's still I ate, but the focus is the object. I ate something. This something. Uh, I, ate the okay. I, ate, I ate the hot dog. I ate the bread. I ate like that. So, the, okay. what? Yeah. So, this is, the, this is the focus. The focus is the object. So, we use the in verb. Okay. okay? So, so that's I the ate reason. pizza. The, you Correct. use the inverb. Correct. So when you say, I ate pizza, how do you say that? So then I write, uh, Kina in ko nang pizza? No, ang, ang pizza. Ang Correct. pizza. Uh -huh. Correct. So why you use ang? Because it's a ang, uh, object. Correct. Uh -huh. When you say ang and followed by the thing, the thing that is followed by ang, uh, well, I mean, the, 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 the thing that is, I mean, following the ang is the focus. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. okay. So, like, did you remember what we had uh, the last time when we, I said, ang bahay ay maganda. Mm -hmm. Or, sorry, it, it's, it's ancient ay. So, uh, the house is beautiful. So, maganda ang bahay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? So the focus yeah. is the house. The house. Correct. Okay. okay. So, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So uh, what about when I say, let's go back to um and mag verbs, okay? What about when I say, uh, uh, I ate this morning? So the focus is me, not the morning. So it's um, kumain ako... Um, Mag, uh, umaga. Oh, this morning. Kanin, kaninang umaga. Kaninang? Umaga. Umaga. Okay, yes. this morning. Okay. Okay. So, the next word will be luto. Okay. Luto. Okay. Luto. So, as I have said, luto cannot be used under um verbs when the actor, when the focus is the actor. Uh-huh. Okay. It is under mag verb. Okay. Mag verb. So now, do you know what is the past 
aspect or the past tense of luto? Uh, nak luto. Very good. That is correct. Uh -huh. <laughs> Five stars. All right. So, um, uh, how are you going to say this in Tagalog? I cooked. Uh, nak luto ako. Correct. That is correct. So, what if I'm going to say I cooked fish? Um, I cooked the fish. Okay. So, it is, oh, I have to pick. <laughs> Ini luto ko ang ista. Very good. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is perfect. To... That is very good. So, it's, it's easy, right? Okay, yeah, yes, if I have to think. <laughs> yes, yes. But of course you need to think, okay? Yeah. So, um, don't worry because we're going to practice, okay? So, the yeah. next word, I'm going to give you another word, okay? So, the next word is inum. You know what inum, inum. means? Drink. Correct. That is correct. So, the next word is inum and then under um verb. Inum is under um verb. Okay? Okay, so uh, how are you going to say uh, I drank? So, um, um, so it is uminum uh, ako. Correct. That is correct. Okay? So what about under in verb? If I will say um, I drank the water. Um, so that's the I N verb. So is it ininum? Ininum. Ininum. Correct. Ininum. Okay. Ininum. That is right. In ininum. Mm -hmm. That is right. So can you complete the sentence? Ininum ko nang water. <laughs> I don't know what's water. <laughs> nang? Uh, uh, ang, ang, ang water. Ang too big. Too big. Oh, I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> okay. So, ininum ko ang too big. Correct. That is correct. Okay. So, okay. another word. As I have said, we will be focusing only on past aspects, okay? Past tense. Okay. okay. So the next word will be Billy. Billy? Mm hmm To buy? Mm hmm That is correct. Uh -huh. Billy. So how are you going to say this in Tagalog? Maragdili na tinood. <laughs> Later na lang lang, ha? <laughs> I'm sorry, my daughter. <laughs> See, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, okay, so we will just continue. <laughs> okay, so what about I say... Uh, the word is Billy, and I say, I bought. So, uh, past. And Billy is um, or mm -hmm. um, so, bumili ako. Correct. That is correct. Okay. So, what about I say, I, I will say, I bought the fish. Um, and that's a I N verb then. So, binili, binili ko ang ista. Very good. Very good. That is correct. So, uh, now you have an wow. idea. You have an idea. Wow. <laughs> you have an idea already. <laughs> How to use the um verb, the in verb. Ang and nang and the focus, okay. the actor and the object, right? Yes. So yes, that yes. is what you are going to. Re that is what uh, are the things that you're going to remember. If you're going to construct the sentence, if you're going to build 
a sentence, of course, with a verb, of course, first thing is you need to put the verb first, right? Like, let's say, yeah. uh, bumili, right? And then you will think, what is the focus? Is it the uh, object or is it the actor or the doer? Okay, so when you say the actor, what will you use? Is it in or mag or um? So actor is um, right? Yeah. Correct. That is correct. So those are the things that you're going to remember. So okay. uh, you already have an idea. Is it is it good? Is it absolutely is it, uh, uh, yes? Yes, I understand <laughs> now because in the I didn't I learn all the verbs or not all but some and then I don't know what to use when it's yeah now I yeah, get it. I know. I know those, the, those are the things that are confusing uh, the learners. Uh, it's actually the focus of the sentence. Mm. Because if you're just going to teach them how to use it in past, present, and in future tense. Right, okay then. But I don't know how to use it in a sentence. Most especially the pronouns. Because yeah. I know the learners will be confused on ako and ko, sha and nia and everything else, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I hope it's not giving you a headache now. I hope oh, it's no. getting clear. Yes, thank you so okay. much. Okay, so we will uh, practice more. Wait a second. How are you going to say... Okay, just a little recap from the what we had the last time. Ow. How are you going to say this in Tagalog? I ate this. Um, this. Uh, mm -hmm. So, kumain ko. This what is, is it? Eto, eto. Kumain ko. I ate oh, this. Oh, kinain kina kina ko. Eto? Correct. Correct. Now you know how to use it. You should use kinain because it's the thing that is the focus, right? So you cannot say kumain. You will sound funny. <laughs> okay? So okay. we don't want that. We don't want that, okay? Okay, so the next word will be... Okay. I brought this. Okay. Um, I bought this. Um, or it. Sorry, not I brought. I bought this. I, I, I bought, bought this. So, um, binili ko uh, ito, this, I don't know. Very, very yeah. good. That is correct. Okay. Correct. <laughs> so, what about, I drank that. Um, inumin, inumin, inimnum, inun, oh. Goodness, I have to look. <laughs> um, Ininum. 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 Mm -hmm. Ko. Uh, uh, ang tubig. <laughs> I drank that. I said that. That is yan. Yan. Correct. That is correct. Okay? That is correct. So, um, I cooked that. Um, nagluto. Nag is under. Is what is the focus? Oh, no, no, when no, no. You okay, 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 nag. okay. So, um, luto. In, in, oh my goodness, why can't I remember this? <laughs> in luto? Correct. In luto ko, um, uh, that? In a little yeah. call, uh, yan, yon. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah. So there's no need of saying ang anymore if you're going to say yan, yun, like that, or ito, okay? okay. So, um, I ate fish. So the fish is the focus. Um, no, the focus is the person. Oh, yeah, because I... Because it's not the fish. Yes. Oh, okay. So, kuma uh, in ako is the... Nang is the... Correct. So, okay. why nang? 
because it's not the focus, the fish. Correct. Very good. Very good. So uh, I bought I bought fish. Um, Bumali ako isda. Ah, nang isda. Very good. Very good. You're getting good at this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll keep so on trying. I, well, I think I, I think um, you're getting better because I'm pretty sure you're confused the last time. Okay. Now I understand a little bit. Yes. Yeah. So next one is I drank water. Um. So, uminum ako tubig. Anang tubig. Okay, that's good. I cooked fish. Magluto ako isda. Anang isda. Why do I keep on forgetting that? Yes, nang isda. <laughs> so, what is it? What is it once again? Um, magluto it? ako nang isda. It's not mag. It's past tense. I cooked fish. Oh, nag. Nag luto. Ako. Okay. Nang is that. Okay. That is correct. That is right. So, um, now, you know the difference, okay? So, when I say I ate the fish, so it means the focus is the fish, right? So, I said I ate fish. So, the focus is the doer, the actor, right? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> it's the same so hope it, Yeah, I hope it gives an idea and it won't confuse you anymore mm -hmm. okay so the next one will be wait a second okay we will just have a little recap with the last adjectives that we had okay so without without looking at your copy <laughs> this mm -hmm. is a test <laughs> this is a test so how do you say Beautiful in Tagalog. Maganda. Correct. What about ugly? Uh, pangit. Mm -hmm. That is correct. What about clean? Uh, li malinis. Very good. The opposite one? Uh, ma marumi. Very good. That is very good. Okay. So the next one is uh, smells good or smelling good. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Mabango. Mabango. Mm -hmm. Mabango. Okay. And the opposite one, I think you can remember. Uh, Mabaho. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I know you could remember the other one than the Mabango. Okay, uh, so the, the, what, wha, how can, how will you say this in Tagalog? Happy. Um, masaya. Okay, I am happy. Um, Masaya ako. Very good. Okay. So the opposite of masaya. Um, makul, um, malukit. Malung. Malungkat. Kit. Malungkot. Malungkot. Mm -hmm. Malungkot. So the last one is big. What is big? Um, maliki. Malaki. 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 So the opposite of it is? Ma in it. No, that's Mali hard. Mali it. Mali it. Mm -hmm. That is oh. correct. Mali it. So, <laughs> so that's good. That's a good recap. All right. So okay. I hope. Yeah, I will give you another adjectives next time. So I, I think our time is up. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much for your time. Thank and I hope you. I did did not give you headache, okay? Di masakit ulo mo. <laughs> no, now I, ha now I can remember a little bit or, or try to remember <laughs> it. Okay, so don't worry about that because even if we will be having another lesson, I will keep on recapping so that you won't forget, okay? Thank you, yes. I will, I will give you an extra, an extra minute, an extra minute so that... Um, For the test. You know, <laughs> Okay, so thank you thank so much you, for yes, your time, Miss Monica. I hope to see thank you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, bye -bye.